<laughs> also, I'll look up what model of the car we're looking at to fix it. Sure <laughs> the fields seem to be grass. And the grass is barley. Right. What was it before? It felt barely. This is where we were the last day. Clannacilty <laughs> yeah. Distillery. Yeah. And they're telling us all about how their <laughs> barley is uh, some of the whiskey is casked I believe by these fields. What we're looking at here is the galley head no. lighthouse <laughs> which is now unmanned. There's an interesting video on YouTube, actually some great videos on YouTube about the last lightkeeper. The lighthouse still operates and at night time in this area you can see the very powerful beam. This is where my hand is, this is west, sorry, this is east and then the other side of the peninsula is looking west and you can see the light coming across the countryside. I don't think there, these beaches are um, used for swimming, you can see the strength of the waves crashing in against the water here. We're about probably 10 or 15 meters from the edge of the cliff here. And where I was making videos earlier um, last year in Wellfleet and Cape Cod, that's the other side of the, ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. Um, just in front of us on this side where I'm shooting from that direction is the Galley Head Lighthouse, which up until somewhat recently was a manned lighthouse, now it's a fully automated digital systems, but the light can still be seen at night time uh, across this part of the world. Where um, the galley head is located, it's uh, a bay just outside of uh, Clannacilty and Ardfield in West Cork in Ireland. For those who haven't heard about West Cork, it's the west of uh, County Cork, which is one of the counties in Ireland, known for its absolutely beautiful landscapes, outdoors life, and you really get a sense here, literally just 10 or 15 meters in front of the Atlantic Ocean, how strong the waves are just pounding, pounding, pounding like crazy. That must have been an incredible experience for the light keepers who, uh, you know, were on duty here for such a long time. Uh, this is also where there's a sign up where we were the last day in Clannacilty Distillery. They have some signage up here saying that they actually cultivate barley from these fields. The guy was explaining to us as a micro distillery that uh, getting the kind of sea maritime influence into their uh, fine whiskey is very important to them. So this is kind of where the story of that whiskey literally starts. For locals, there's a beautiful beach called uh, Red Strand, which is located just on the kind of inlet of this bay here, but we're right here pretty much at the end of the peninsula.
one of the most beautiful pieces of sea coastline in this fantastically beautiful part of Ireland and of the world. You can also walk along the cliffs here and it's an absolutely beautiful walk that I'm currently on a little kind of bit of a trail here. Uh, it's marked out in grass but obviously if the weather is in any way inclement you do have to be careful to stand back from the cliff edge particularly if you have children but you can just feel the power of the ocean as it whacks off these little beaches and inlets. Some of them like the Red Strand Beach located a few miles into the bay have names others are no sand no access roads and probably known only only two boaters and people kayaking in the area the lighthouse does open occasionally for public access into the lighthouse itself to support uh, fundraisers for the local rowing club or the local search and rescue and uh, that's an experience worth doing as well you can access this part of the of the road anytime uh, anytime you want to open to the public